proud of you and plus it, what it's like 6 or 7 a.m there y'all y'all are the real bees from the hawaii team man kudos to you thank you guys so much and um, jonathan it's it's an honor and um, thanks for the opportunity for allowing me to share my story today and this topic is near and dear to me because it's something that and um, i grasped and I was able to excel. So I'm gonna share my screen here and quickly go through my story. Tell me if you guys can see it. So my name is Odetta King. I come from a corporate sales background, right? 18 years in hotels, done it all, loved it. I thought hotel was gonna be my bread and butter and I was gonna retire there like everybody else who thinks their job is good and we're gonna stay there forever. Well, guess what? Even though I was in the hotel industry, did amazingly well, had the corner office, traveling around the world, staying in really, really nice palaces, five-star hotels, because, you know, my job was to go check out these hotels and recommend them to Fortune 500 companies so that their corporate executive can stay at one of our branded hotels around the world. So it was great, lovely experience, made good money, but there was something that was still missing, right? All along while I was doing this, I was also teaching because I believe in having multiple sources of income. So I was teaching as an adjunct. I still do teach as an adjunct. I refuse to go full-time even though they've offered me two times as recent as the year prior to be full-time. I gladly said, absolutely no thank you i'm not even gonna think about it now that i found wmg and i'm also an nyu alumni graduated from nyu never took one personal finance or any financial class don't ask me how that happens and i'm studying business like how would you not get a personal finance class from nyu top ivy league university in the country that just goes to so we are never going to learn this information guys we're never right and then of course, um, I was also doing my thing on the side, helping families save money through swapping, which is their clothing, items, shoes, things that they've probably worn once or twice. That was my way of teaching people, hey, you need to save more money, stop shopping, right? So fast forward now at one of my colleges that I teach, guess who showed up, y'all? angel who is truly my angel so here i am doing my thing teaching and every semester we would bring back students who graduated from the program to talk about how has college prepared them for the real world i don't know angel he is a stranger to me right um and he shows up he was one of the people on the panel and he started you know he did his presentation and then after we had a networking event where everyone is kind of mingling, getting to know each other. And he said to me, what do you do besides teaching? And I said, well, you know, I'm really passionate about helping families save money. And he was like, no way. So he gifted me a book, which most of you know of this book here, Saving Your Future, right? And as an educator, I was like all over this book. I read it in one night. And the very next day, they, or two days after, there was a financial workshop at Mercy College, which I attended, and it was a wrap. I fell in love with what I learned. I realized even someone like me didn't know this information. And if I don't know it, a lot of other people wouldn't know it either, right? So Angel is truly my angel. When I get my firstborn, if he's a boy, his middle name will be Angel, because thanks to Angel, my kids are going to be born millionaires, okay? We got those IULs popping on there as soon as they turn 15 days old and they got that social security. So here I am at one of our convention with Angel, killing it, taking away awards. I started this business in 2017. And guys, this is why you've got to attend big events. I went to a gala that Johnny had in LA in 2017. 
and I just saw people on stage winning. They're getting their watch. They're getting belt. They're getting stuff. People are clapping. They're excited. And I'm like, whoa, I, like, I don't know what's going on, but I, I, I want to get something. I want to learn. I want to do whatever I need to do. I got to be up on stage next year. And the next thing you know, January 2018. Yes, guys, this is why you got to make a decision and you got to go to big events, right? 2018, I was up on stage. Um, but guys, most of you know my mom. I do this for my mom, right? My mom, I tell her all the time, out of her five kids, if none of them are there for her, OdettaKing.com will always be that person who's going to be with her to the end of time. In fact, my second house, I already told her she got to come live with me because she's not going to be in a different state or in a different part of New York. And I got to be trekking back and forth to go check on her when she gets older in life. So she already knows she's a package with me. And plus, that's going to be a free babysitter. <laughs> So 20, <clears throat> moving along, hit my 50K watch within a year and a half, killing it, number one MD, killing the cash flow, because for most of you who follow me on social media, you know I talk about stacking coins, and I'm all about my coins, right? So for me, what motivated me for this business is making a lot of money, right? That's what motivated me, killing it again in 2020, sweeping up all these awards, right? Because of this business, I got to learn so much more by sitting with clients, attending these workshops, learning about finance, and it provided me with so much content that I was able to write my first book, If You Ain't Stacking, You Dropping. And I always wanted to write a book on finance, but I didn't have enough content or knowledge or experience. WFG realized that for me. It helped make my dream come true. It provided me with freedom and travel because prior to this prior to the pandemic y'all already know we're traveling like every three four months right and then i hate my 100k watch i think it was last year september even in a pandemic y'all in a pandemic when people were being let go laid off business closing wfg thrive in pandemic WFG tribe in recession and all of these things that are bad happening to the economy, the world, and people are like losing their mind, losing their house, losing their money. WFG is thriving, right? So I hit my 100K ring, super excited, and now I'm on to my 250K. And just this year, we had our national convention, guys. And it's not just about me winning, but the more people I have winning with me, I'm so proud of these two ladies because they're Ghanis like myself. My girl Shanti from um, Carol, um, um, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and then my girl Shelly Ann, who's also up in Ohio. They are beasts like me. I only want to work with beasts. I make no apology. I want to recruit people who are just as hungry like me. And if you're not as hungry, it's okay, but you ain't going to get my time. Okay. It's okay. So today, my topic is going to be talking about recruiting. Thank God for recruiting. I'm going to give you guys five tips. Yes, five. How to be a better recruiter. If it wasn't for recruiting, I wouldn't be here today, guys. I thank God for Angel. Even my mama, thank God for Angel. Sometimes she has to remind me that if it wasn't for Angel, I wouldn't be in this business. I would be stressed out just like every other hotel director of sales, wondering if we're going to get fired, if we're going to get laid off, if we're going to have to collect social uh, unemployment or something. So recruiting is a good thing. You guys need to wrap that around your head. When you give somebody an opportunity to this business, you are giving an ordinary person an opportunity to be extraordinary to change their life even if they come here first to learn because some of us we start with the learning track and then we realize holy moly this is good info people don't know this stuff right so you got to embrace recruiting you got to be excited tell a lot of people give more people an opportunity to change their life i remember even though i was doing extremely well in the hotel industry guys I was always praying. I remember praying so many times to God for an opportunity where I could wake up whatever I want to, 
go to work whenever I want to and stack a whole lot of coins. And that was not ever going to happen in the hotel industry because as a director of sales, I was running the sales team. I had to be in there at 8 a.m., right? Start a sales meeting at 9 a.m. And even after 10 p.m., I'm still working. It's crazy, right? I'm still working at 10 p.m. So number one, you got to talk to a lot of people. Give this them, give them an opportunity to this business. Number two, recruiting is a mindset. You got to always be recruiting. Don't say, oh, today I'm going to recruit or tomorrow. No, it's a mindset. I went out last night, had a few drinks, met some business people, exchanged cards, and guess what? They're going to ask me what I do because I asked them, what do you do? So guess what? Now I have a brand new contact. You got to talk to people and make friends with strangers. Strangers have everything you need. Number three, right? You got to have speed. Business and opportunity goes with speed. Be like a doctor, be like a lawyer. When you get on the phone or on a Zoom, you got to let people know up front, hey, I only got five minutes or I got an hour. You know, your time is money. And especially in this business, your time is really money. So act with speed. Stop being lazy and casual because casual people end up being a casualty. So I need y'all to be speed, to be fast and act with urgency. Because guess what? If we take our sweet time, by the time we apply for these people, they get sick with some illness or they change their mind or something happened. Number four, be excited. Excitement creates curiosity. Ain't nobody going to want to follow some lame, non-exciting, boring person. You got to create excitement. People will be curious and want to know, like, why is she so hyped? Why is she so excited? What's going on over there? And when they come to watch you burn, recruit them. So be excited. And number five, recruiting is a numbers game. You got to talk to everybody. You got to talk to a lot of people. We get paid to talk. I need y'all to write that down right now. We get paid to talk. The more you talk, the more you recruit. The more you recruit, the more clients you're going to get, the more business parties you're going to get, and you're going to help a lot of families, aka stack a whole lot of coins. And that's how you recruit. Get your game on. Don't play yourself, but rather pay yourself. Let's go out and recruit everybody. <laughs> all right, man, you guys all know now what we mean is Odetta being the beast from the east, that energy. Right, so the top three things I got from her is urgent.